Gemini placements. Gemini. <laughs> Who are you spying on? It's definitely someone you don't like. Why are you spying on someone you don't like? Huh? Okay, it feels like I'm calling your ass out on this one. You're spying on someone that you are obsessed about, but you don't like. What is that about? Maybe you have loved this person once upon a time, but you don't love them anymore, but you seem to be spying on them. It's almost like you can't help yourself but spy. You just want to know what this fucker does. Interesting. You're spending too much too much time spying, but uh, we have a different energy now, so let's move on. You are not taking anyone seriously, are you? If you are single, Gemini, I see that you have a lot of options, but you're not taking anyone seriously. You're like, la 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 la. Fucking go, la 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 la, fucking go. <laughs> so I see you just having fun, not taking anyone seriously. And let me tell you why you're doing this, Gemini. It's because you're hurt. You do want something serious, but the reason why you're not taking anyone seriously is because you're not in a, in a loving place, are you? You will though, I feel like you will heal slowly in your own way. Maybe having a lot of rebounds. But I see eventually, I mean this li this current lifestyle that you have, you know, not taking anyone seriously, spying on someone that you're obsessed about, this will not stay for long. This will be a phase um, that you're going through and then it will end, okay? Because I see something serious in your future because deep down if you even if you don't admit it to yourself right now consciously deep down you want something serious but i feel like there is someone specifically that have put you off anything serious so it's almost like you're taking your revenge out on other people <laughs> Maybe it, it, it feels like a retaliating energy against other people. Now, okay. Here's the thing. The next, oh my God. The next person that you fall in love with will be your karmic. Be prepared for that. Playing with people's hearts will get yours played. Even if before you played other people's hearts, your heart was played. If you continue on repeating the cycle with other people, even if you are the victim or the the person that breaks the heart, it doesn't matter. Uh, the energy still continues. So I know I know it's harder um, done than said. So I know it's tempting to take your vengeance on someone else because someone hurt you. But that's how you become in debt with karma. So because 
someone mistreated you, instead of healing, you started going out and fucking with other people that have nothing to do with your pain. And that will cause a karmic to come into your life in your future. And it looked good at the beginning until I saw karma. The karma card came out. And at the bottom of the deck we have the three of swords. This doesn't look good, Gemini. Now, I want to see if there is any way, if there is a way for Gemini to change the karmic from coming in. I mean, it's kind of obvious. You need to admit it to yourself. And start focusing on yourself and healing yourself, giving yourself love, care, and manifesting someone that is worthy of you, that is fair to you. That's how you heal a broken heart. So basically this is telling you, if you don't want the karmic to come into your life, you will have to change. You will have to stop the crap, stop playing games with other people's hearts just because someone did that to you. Because if you don't, you will attract a karmic. And that is no fun because you will fall in love with the karmic and you will have a cycle repeating over and over again. So, in order to avoid a cycle repeating with a different face, you need to basically grow the fuck up. And when I say that, I say it in the nicest way, meaning you have to stop the games and heal your heart alone until you feel ready to manifest the person that you want to align with. Because guess what? You attract what you are. And if you keep playing those games, you will attract someone that plays those games. And you will end up falling in love with this person, not knowing that they are playing games. The only way to get out of the cycle that you are in is to focus on yourself, be single. Do not be with another person at this time. It is not advised. So this is telling you to heal, recover, regain the strength that you have lost in the presence of a fucker. And not being with another, not being with other people because I'm not saying not don't socialize. I'm saying don't get in bed with another person if you're still hurting. Because that pain is contagious and that pain is, is kind of making you the way you are. The reason why you're playing games. The reason why you don't trust anybody. The reason why you, you're, you kind of have hate and love for the things that you're playing games with. The only way out is for you to be single at this time. It cannot go any other way. You heal you, that's how you avoid a karmic situation in your future. Now, if you don't want to do that, that is up to you. Keep playing those games and reap the consequence of that. That's up to you. If you want to risk it, risk it, you know? But in the most obvious sense, you don't jump into another connection, even if it's not serious. If you are hurt, if you need healing, because it's contagious, it pours out of you. That pain pours out. And it, it becomes obvious in your actions, in your verbal communication, or even external communication. Okay? I will extend this reading on my website. The link will be in the description box. I will see you there if you want some ass whipping. <laughs>